Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Virgo. Oh yeah! <laughs> so I'm going to show you a little bit about what the packages that I have that I put on my community tab on my channel, and it kind of tells you what I'll be kind of doing for your reading. So I will have six cards, but we'll also incorporate the bottom of the deck. So I will be using the tarot cards as well, and maybe even the after tarot. I haven't decided yet. So let's see what kind of characteristics we have for your person. Now I want to get a tarot card to kind of get uh, your elements and um, some of the other information, the planet, uh, their zodiac sign, and maybe even key dates when it comes to this person. So let us look at what can you tell me about Virgo's person that's coming in for them. All right. And I'm only reading these in the upright for the tarot. I think I got my deck upside down probably. Um, we have the death card. Okay, so characteristics of this person. Now this is uh, Scorpio. Um, so this person may be a Scorpio. They may come across very secretive. Um, may, they may just be kind of shy maybe. I feel like There's endings here. There's changes here. There's a transformation or regeneration. Needing to let go or a rebirth here. So this may be somebody from your past. We have 13, which breaks down to 4, which is, for numerology, those fundamental values, stability structure, this person may be detail oriented and be able to manifest. So let's see what else we get for Virgo. Tell me about this person. Yes. Okay. So they may have also ended something with somebody in order to come on this journey with you. Ah, oh, yeah. They are thinking about you. Now, with the with the journey here, one plus zero is one. So this could be a new beginning here with when it comes to numerology. There may be new opportunities or there may be new potential when it comes to this. This person could be very ambitious, be a leader, be independent, and be very authentic. I'm getting that they don't follow the herd. They kind of lead the herd. <laughs> so um, they're not one to... I feel like they find out for themselves. They don't just take the word of everyone else or they break their own path um, and forge ahead on their own route instead of following what everybody else is doing feel like a trendsetter here. Um, very determined energy. And with the seven here, uh, they are reflecting and assessing, gaining knowledge about you. They may be very spiritual. I feel like they're very logical and they use their intuition. They may even like puzzles. They, I feel like they're, they like to analyze things or figure shit out is <laughs> what I'm getting here. Hmm. Okay. Let's let's get some more here. Let's look at now we have Scorpio here. I feel like Huh. I'm kind of getting um, moon energy with this. That um, <laughs> I 
internal conflict, wanting to uncover the truth or issues are resurfacing that they may want to get away from. And that could be why they have ended something. They can't seem to get you off their mind. So let's see. They're Juno. How are they going to meet you? Yeah, they're going to take action here. I feel like fairly quickly with number eight here. This is power, success, material abundance. They're taking action. It's all about action. They're maybe even have some type of authority or some type of achievement here. What's on the bottom of the deck? Door to spirit. Hello. Now, this is something that may be new for this person. Number five, I kind of feel like spirit might be giving them the freedom here to change things end some instability and end some conflicts they may be having, being able to adapt, maybe even looking at this as an adventure. I feel like they're very curious about you. <laughs> All right, um, let's move on. Let's see what obstacles here. So I, I want to actually get a couple tarot cards because I want to find out how and where you're going to meet this person. Mm, yeah, look at that. They want to plant seeds with you. They want to plan their future with you is kind of what I'm getting here with the Two of Wands. This is, um, maybe they've had some individual success. They're like, I'm dissatisfied. Do I stay? Do I go? They're going to take action. So they're definitely going forward here. And with the two of wands, this is Aries energy here. They may have that passionate side to them. Maybe some fire in their chart. I kind of feel like with the three of wands here it might be march or april march kind of 31st april 10th maybe even april 11th ish in and around there with your venus coming in i'm kind of feeling like let's see uh, let's see what we've got here for your obstacles. What obstacles might you be looking at here? Oh, secrets. I haven't told you everything. So they may not tell you some things at first. They may like space. So I need more time to think. So they may like being on their own. I'm kind of getting that hermit energy here. Ah, guilty. I feel pain from the damage I have caused. Now, this may be because of this ending here that they've had with this person that they are leaving behind in order to come forward. Or they're just wanting to have a rebirth from you, with you, if they are a person from your past. Now, they may have had a guilty conscience. Maybe they didn't treat you. Um, and may treat you with respect I'm kind of getting or treat you with yeah they didn't handle things very well when it came to you so let's look at what kind of <laughs> feelings towards you they have here what are they feeling toward you Despite the differences, oh no, it's despite the distance, I feel our souls still remain entwined, intertwined, wow. So, I'm kind of feeling that twin flamish kind of telepathy here, some kind of communication that they, it's like astro travel or something along those lines. Things move so fast, and I didn't know how to trust my feelings for you. Okay, so they may have given away their power, and this, um, I'm feeling like maybe somebody has 
maybe tried to poison their mind against you. That may have what happened before. Somebody may have. I feel like that maybe these secrets, they may have maybe had a person that you didn't know about. Or if this is a new person, they maybe just haven't told you everything. Maybe they're married and they're only separated. I'm kind of getting that maybe they have children and they didn't tell you right away. Let's see. What else? I still love you and can't stop thinking about you. I'm almost feeling like perhaps you when they come your way you may be at a distance from this person now i'm kind of getting <laughs> the one that got away <laughs> oh i keep getting that with some of the readings here i i i keep getting the one that got away the one that got away tell me for virgo please what action should you take in the meantime <laughs> heart with a key you're gonna welcome this love you're gonna meet the one you're opening your heart you're getting together perfect you may be looking forward to this now i feel like this may make you very happy to know that it is coming in for you when to look for this virgo um i'm getting that um <laughs> When did I say? Uh, I'm trying to remember now. Um, March. <laughs> March 31st to April 10th or 11th ish, somewhere in there. Yeah. So you may meet this person before then, but they may have to go back, I'm getting. So uh, let's have a look here. What should you be doing in the meantime? Heartbroken. Okay. So I'm kind of getting when they come and they're, it, it, I don't know if it's going to be a breakup, but you're going to be separated from this person when they have to go back. Okay. You're going to be feeling lost. You, you might even mourn or <laughs> grieve them because you're going to miss them that much. And I, I feel like, I feel like this is, mm, I feel like you got worried, you're going to be worried that this person is going to go back to their person when they go home. I feel like you're, you're kind of concerned about that. Yeah, there's a separation. So you are worried about this person being separated from somebody. That might be the secret that they didn't tell you is that they are married, but they're not together with this person anymore. They have to go back to deal with this um, before they can come back to be with you. <sighs> yeah, sadness and missing you, thinking about you, yearning. Yeah, um, unsure if this is going to fail or not. And I feel like this is kind of, <laughs> oh man, let me get one tarot card here before I say too much here. Okay, we got the moon card. And remember, I am only reading these in the upright. So the moon card. Okay. Pisces energy. I feel like you're worried that this was all just an illusion. You may have a lot of internal conflict over this. You may feel like there's something that needs to be uncovered, some type of truth here. You may have triggers here with issues resurfacing by fear, right? And we all know what that fear is, right? Maybe refusing to trust your intuition or that you're going to make the right decision. So let's see what the outcome is. I want to get a romance angel for this as well. Getting to know each other. I feel like this is as you reveal your innermost secrets or selves to one another, 
your bond deepens. I feel like this person, you may feel like it's all over done with, but this person may end up surprising you. Yeah, you may not want to tell anybody about this. <laughs> Maybe because it didn't work out or you feel like it maybe ended and you may not see this person again. Perhaps you, I kind of feel like that you don't want to share this person with anyone yet. You're still getting to know them. So let's see what else comes in for you when it comes to this. All right, some truth. Okay, so being honest with self is kind of what I'm getting here with the Ace of Swords. This may be a breakthrough or some mental clarity that comes in for you that this person still wants to be with you and that they are wanting to plan things with you in order. I'm kind of getting to get together. Um, maybe something more um, committed. I feel like needing to make sure there's some type of commitment here though for this to be a success. There will be some type of breakthrough here. Can I get one more card please? Yeah, they may be walking from whatever conflict and things that are ending over there, wanting to come back over because these were much calmer waters over here with you. <laughs> they want to retreat with you just as much as you do with them. I feel like when they go back, they aren't going to realize just how much you really affected them. I feel like it's going to be quite magnetic when you two come together though. And it's going to be undeniable. You're going to, you're going to be quite the couple though. I mean, everybody around you is going to totally see the love that's going on here. What is your intuition telling you? <laughs> Yeah, you might feel like the wounded warrior and you're going to keep pushing through. And I feel like this is coming through with this until your person comes back or makes plans with you. But they are planting seeds with you. They want to have that future with you, right? They may be at a distance, but they know that this connection is part of the what they need to do. So... They may need space and time in order to figure some things out. And they may feel really guilty. Maybe this isn't a past person. I'm kind of getting for some of you. They may feel guilty about having to go back and hurting you by leaving you. And this may be that they feel that pain just as much as you do. We have the nine of wands here and I'm kind of getting, this is about fruition or yeah, fruition and attainment and that fulfillment. I feel like you're very tolerant. You love, love. I just kind of get that universal love is kind of what I'm getting here. I feel like you're very selfless when it comes to things, but love is huge for you. It's quite an impact for you. Okay, let's get a couple of these here. Okay, let's find out about this ending. Let's see about your separation with this person, because you're feeling like there's things left unknown. Yeah, you're desperately hanging on to this person through thick and thin, I feel like, or this could be their person that is wanting to hang on to them. And this may be the fear that you're having here. So yeah, look at, they are your emperor. Wow. Okay. So this may be uh, Aries Scorpio. I'm getting um, with the moon Pisces. Let's see. Yeah, I'm kind of getting 
there's some swords here and wands here as well. Hmm. Kind of getting with, yeah, more Pisces with that. Cancer, a little bit of Cancer in there. Wow. Very stable person. A lot of fundamental values I'm getting. That stability and structure, right? Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> so you really feel very heartbroken. This is your emperor. This is your person that you've been, I feel like, not waiting for, but like, where have you been all my life? It's kind of <laughs> that feeling of maybe even past life. Okay, let's find out what is this? Hmm, what do we want to know? Let's find out about this death card here. What's going on with this relationship? Yeah, they're moving forward. I feel like this person may be very successful. And they are moving forward towards you. Uh, I feel like they may change your whole life. They may have money. They may have a great foundation. They may have a legacy that they're leaving behind. They may have money. They may want to build money with you. With the Ten of Pentacles, like, this is pretty big. This is harmony. This is generational wealth. This could be inheritance, property. I feel like that emotional harmony, though, is huge for this person. I feel like they maybe were at a crossroads in the sense of all of the conflict that was going on and they're just looking for that peace you know and with the chariot and the ten of of pentacles i mean <laughs> well, they are wanting to get the hell out of there go on this journey as fast as they can um that independence and ambitious to get that victory i feel with you i feel like they're worried people are going to come in and scoop you up while well, they're dealing with this when they have to go back and it may be all over money that they're having to go back for maybe it's the legalities maybe it's a divorce maybe it's a legal separation tell me what the secret is yeah the the world card so i'm kind of getting that this is um tying up loose ends. I feel like they're very charming. This is something that they need to complete to get on that right path to success with you. And I feel like they may need this space. And I feel like you're, you're worried because of, of what they're going back with, back to. But they are definitely ending this out. Definitely tying up those loose ends in order to be able to have something more with you. With the Six of Swords, I feel like this is only going back to the where they live. They, they pretty much have to. Uh, they may have a job that they have to go back to. Maybe they were just on vacation. And maybe they just wanted to come to meet you. I feel like they really wanted to, um, <laughs> I feel like things were moving faster than they wanted them to, or they were ready for. I feel like it's such a major connection that this is, may have even scared them. I feel like they, they fell in love with you quite fast. They can't stop thinking about you. Tell me about the separation. Yeah, this may have, <laughs> this must have been something brutal for you to go through because I feel like you found your person, Virgo, and they had to go home. Maybe it's at a bit of a distance. Maybe it's not something you can just pick up and go. 
or maybe you have your own job you have to worry about. Yeah, I feel like you're going to adapt to this, you know. It's, it's not going to be, you know, because your ships are coming in. I feel like financially things will change for you. Your ships are coming in. So whatever you're working on or whatever work you're putting into, I feel like you're going to start saving <laughs> for this certain occasion in order maybe to have a little bit of extra cash flow in case plans, uh, you need money for plans that you want to go um, and do things with this emperor with. Now, I feel like you need to let them chase you a little. I, maybe not work for it, but they may like the challenge of uh, you. So don't offer to um, pay for anything or... Because I feel like they will take you up on it. But the thing is, is if they really want to romance you... Show them the queen that you really are, the empress that you really are, okay? So what do we have? Yeah, you're going to use your intuition. Yeah, high priestess. I feel like you can really see through this person. I feel like you have a major connection here when it comes to them. This is beautiful, Virgo. Wow, wow, wow. With the high priestess, wow. This is moon energy. This is that enlightened and maybe um, <laughs> I'm getting secret romance with this. It's a bit of a mystery, right? And it's kind of exciting and maybe not anybody knows about it or you haven't told many people or you don't want to tell anybody. <laughs> I feel like this is something you're keeping just for you. Until you get to know this person a little more and then you might be willing to share them with more of your family or more people around you or your friends or whatever the case. But, <laughs> yeah, oh, I really like this. Wow, this is really beautiful for you. Virgo, this is what's coming in for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. This kind of gives you an insight of what your reading might look like when you get a reading from me. I have two packages, the $30 package and a $60 package, and it is for Soulmate Twin Flame uh, love reading. So if you are interested in that, just put personal reading in the subject line and you can email me and I will pencil in you and I will um, get back to you with the email on how to pay for the session or the package and then I will send you your reading, a personalized reading just for you via email, your own video love reading soulmate twin flame. <laughs> All right, you guys. If you'd like to donate, people are still asking, uh, you can donate in the description box below via PayPal. There is a link there. It'll take you right to PayPal. Or you can do the super thanks. Or just watching the videos certainly helps. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I look forward to hearing from you for some personal readings. I already have people emailing me and it's very nice that people really like the readings that I'm doing. And I just want to say thank you, thank you, and thank you. <laughs> All right, you guys. Oh, um, I did pick a winner for the 10th, which is today, for the free reading, and I have contacted that person. I will be finding out from them whether they want me to post them as the winner on my community tab or not. Some people may want to stay anonymous. I don't know if I'm saying that. <laughs> it doesn't say right. It doesn't sound right when I'm saying it. Um, they may want to stay anonymous. Anonymous? Well, maybe I'm saying it right. Anyhow, um, <laughs> okay, you guys, take care, stay blessed. We'll see you next time. All right, later.